Alrighty. This is not the screen. There we go. <sighs> I should stop streaming, like, late. <laughs> I should stream earlier. But, you know what? We're here. Javi, if you're in chat, please let me know how audio for game and how audio for me. Hopefully it's not crazy. I'm going to assume we're all good. All right. Let's start this game. Welcome to the world of Persona 3 Portable. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. Game is low level. With okay, yeah, you know, sure. Yeah. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. By choosing a male main character, you will be able to play a version very close to the original Persona 3. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience Persona 3. The female main character added to this game is not just for female players. She is also for veterans of P3 and P3 FES who want a new perspective. Alright, here's my first grape. <laughs> so they say this. They acknowledge the game. They acknowledge Persona 3 FES. Why did they not port that? I, I need an explanation. Now please, choose a gender. Well, I never played Persona 3 before, so like, obviously. Begin the story as the male main character. Yes. Next, choose a difficulty setting. Your choice will not influence the storyline. Choose a difficulty level that fits your comfort level. I mean, I played SMT 5 and SMT 3, but no. You can change the difficulty level from the command menu. Begin on normal difficulty? Yes. Now please, enjoy the game. This game is a work of fiction. No persons, groups, and- okay. Okay. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. Alright, so fun fact. All right now. I've beaten Persona 4, and I've beaten Persona 5. So it's only right that we play Persona 3. Terminal Station, evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it to my head. This fucking music is... <laughs> I fucking love it so much. Let me... Turn it up a little bit. Just, you know. Just cause. Just cause I can. Pull the trigger. No chickening out. I don't remember, because I remember I read about um, Persona 3 a while ago. Well, not a while ago, but like over the course of me playing other Persona games. But like each Persona game has like a specific reason why people summon Personas. And I know she's one of like a Persona user, but I forgot specifically the thought process of them getting their personas, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We'll learn later. Inside the new city passenger train, Ane Hazaru.
Iwa Todai. You arrived late. I also think, um, if I remember correctly, a big difference between, like, because Persona 3 Portable was on the PSP, obviously. But I think a big part of it, too, was, what was it? Uh, because, you know, the PSP was, like, smaller hardware. I think all of, like most of the cutscenes got cut down to like visual novel kind of things, which kind of sucks. But you know, I'll I'll play like FES later through other means. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Mm, crunchy. Looks like course party. Huh? Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. It's an eerily gigantic moon. Yeah, this is just a visual novel. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gekokan High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Welcome. Huh? You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Who is this lost child? In my dorm room. And why? An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. I don't want to sign. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. I'm good. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I choose if this fate of my own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use my VTuber name, which is my name. My name? I don't know why I said it that way, but it's my name. My very real character name. something no one can escape it delivers us all to the same end wishing won't make it go away what if it did though and so it begins but like honestly what if wishing made time go away what would you do then the unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness who's there how can you be? But it's. Huh? Don't tell me. The girl is holding something that looks like a gun. You know what that means, boys and girls. It's time to run. Wait. I don't know why I rhymed. Anyways. Lights. 
I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. <gasps> no! No! I want to stay here. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. But why can't I stay? I deserve to stay. I got here. They put me here. I deserve it. I mean, I know I'm a boy, but like co cohabitation. Yes. That's what I'll say. That's my response. Why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self defense. What the fuck? <laughs> I am concerned on like for so many different reasons. It's not a real gun, of course. Sure. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Cause she wouldn't say it's for self defense and then be like, it's not a real gun. Cause like it doesn't make any sense. I refuse. The second floor at the end of the hallway. Your thing should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Dormitory. Second floor hallway. At the furthest door. <laughs> this is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Yeah, does that kid live here too? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Oh, he wasn't oh, okay. Well, well, guys, I guess that was my my death contract. Yukari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? You know what I? Never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? No. I want all my questions answered right now. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Good night. Well, fuck me, I guess. Yukari walked down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Alright, so, oh no, <laughs> it's a point and click. The mirror reflects your regular face. Two thousand nine. How old was I in two thousand nine? I'm not gonna do that math. I'm tired. You were tired today. I know I am. I just said that. You should go to bed early. But the TV, you are tired today. Go to sleep. You are tired today. Yes, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's Yukari. Are you awake? Now let's be nice. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? I can find it myself. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. Uh, 
Inside the new city passenger train, Ane Hazaru. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last goal wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. I wonder how many schools are actually like this. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. I know like a lot of Japanese like media has like these man-made islands too. Oh, look, you can see it now. For like school or like Morning. I The limitations of the PSP are really amazing. You expect me to believe they couldn't <laughs> they couldn't render students walking so they just took a screenshot. Uh. Morning. Well, here we are. It just I mean, alright. On a PSP. I understand. On a computer, switch Xbox and PS4 slash five. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're gonna love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Sorry about that, Hadion. <clears throat> Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Oh. Okay. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? The gun. See you later. She must be talking about the gun. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Okay. Two students are talking. Hey, Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere else to change your. <sighs> you really ought to find some way to change into your normal clothes. Eh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. Hey, where's the bulletin board with the new homeroom post? What am I reading? Oh my god. It's right there. You're in class F, Kaz. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. <sighs> I worry about you sometimes. Wait, did her die? No. Okay, okay. Wait, hold up. Don't make me watch you all the time. Who are you, my mother? Huh? The faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here. So you should probably ask someone else. Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. Jesus. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Hmm. No, oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Taught by... What? Miss Tori... Miss Toriyumi? Uh, well, she is older than me, but... I was hoping for Miss Con... What the f... What? Is he? No. I refuse to believe that. Hmm. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her gang had to pull out on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. <laughs> Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Alright, I get it. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. So, I guess I go... Somewhere... Game? You should go to the faculty office. I mean... Okay. Now, is there a samurai here? A man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? 
Every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. I don't want to read that. <laughs> That's fantastic. The teachings of the Bushido are important than they are now. I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. You may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. They seem to be having fun. I'm gonna go. Huh? huh? Library? That's strange. I saw the map, but where am I? That's a nurse's office. Library. Faculty office. It's the faculty office. Enter. Are you the new student? <sighs> she can't replace Kawakami. It's it's unfortunate, but like Persona teachers peaked with Kawakami. Eleventh grade, correct? The teacher is flipping through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents. <gasps> My parents, what? I'm sorry. I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. What did my parents do? Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignment? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year... I love this principle. <laughs> I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing... It's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Hey. The student behind you is trying to get your attention. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? Yeah, it's me. What are you gonna do about it? She does. Man, I knew it. I mean, why wouldn't she? Wait, how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. You hear lots of people talking. Homeroom is over. Your first after school session is about to begin. Sup, dude? How's it going? <gasps> oh my god. He has a hat. That wasn't no no. I've peaked. I peaked seven years ago with my comedy and ever since then slow decline. Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? Why did it? Why, why is she mad? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It must be fate. Fate? Yeah, right. Granddaughter? <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Granddaughter. Um, hello. Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? 
Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Wouldn't that be good if I forgot? Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? Stop bringing it up then. What? Last night. Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. You'd be surprised. She's so paranoid. You'd be very surprised, Junpei. Look at Twitter. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. This really is 2009, huh? <laughs> this is going to be a fun year. I can feel it. You decided to go home with Junpei. Well, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei as you went home. There's a sign-in sheet. At, uh, there's a sign-in sheet on the counter. I can read. Welcome back. That was a little aggressive. Why she like welcome back? Like calm down. What will you do? Oh, they really just ripped this from the PSP, huh? Okay, me too. Oh. <laughs> me too, Atlas. <laughs> you really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. What is this song? You Yukari, you caught is she loading her gun? Oh hi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just killing time, doing nothing. You're probably already you're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Why is everybody Conspiring against me. Why does everybody want me to go to bed early? Hmm. This really is my room, huh? In the, in the corner. Will you go back to your room now? Yeah. You feel tired. You should get some rest. Later. At the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mizuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I have that every day. <laughs> I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? N no, not that one. I mean a story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. What the fuck? 
If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mothers to herself, It's coming, it's coming. Huh? How about that? You don't believe me? The first bell has rung. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Uh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in a textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh, uh, uh, psst. Who does she like? It was Utsubo Ku Fuyohiko Yoshimura. That's right. So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Sendo. You hear your classmates whispering. Sendo gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Sure. You know what? Sure. Your charm is increased. Class has ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decided to go back to the dorm. The dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? <laughs> Not really. Ikutsuki. See? I said it. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akihiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? The other night I saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem Do right. Do you have another question? No, I'm good. Then I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. I don't want worms. Please forgive the bad pun. I'll kill you. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. You should rest for today. You decided to return to your room and sleep. Later, at a certain room in a dormitory. Yeet! Not the yeet. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Why are they monitoring my sleeping patterns? Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. What the what the hell is happening? Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. Uh, this sucks. He looks like he belongs in a different video game. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away.
But Bo, how are you doing? As as you can see, today we're playing Persona 3 Portable, but on Steam. So it's not very portable at the moment for me. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics is always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. So far it's just been a lot of reading. Oh, um, Fire Emblem Engage. I might get it next week. Sadly, I can't stream it, though. Switch Lite. No actual Switch. Yeah. But I was planning on getting it, because, like, the gameplay seemed... What the... It seemed interesting. And the last Fire Emblem game I played was Three Houses, but I didn't beat it, so... Either I get engaged and play it, or I beat Three Houses and then get engaged. I'm not sure. But those are my only choices. <laughs> What's happening to me? I'm sorry. What the fuck is happening? Am I playing Silent Hill? Back at a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Okay, so I have the potential to do something. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Master. Master Sendo Sayonji. I don't know whose voice that's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, it's the velvet room. I recognize those patterns anywhere. Yep. Oh, it's an elevator? Oh. Welcome to the velvet room. Hmm. So Persona 5 is a jail cell. Persona 4 is a limo. And Persona 3 is a... Ele yeah, elevator. What is the symbolism? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. Oh, apparently there's some mods to, like, fix... Some stuff already, which is <laughs> funny. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return that you abide by the contract. 
and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I understand. Hold on to this. Obtained velvet key. Meet again. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? Don't sleep in class, dude. What? Why do you have to be all serious? That feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Ugh. But we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nassiel Ekoda. It looks so... Ahem. I'm Mr. Ekoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic literature isn't relevant to everyday life. But oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Uh, I'll listen now. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb or bussin'. <sighs> Kill me. <laughs> Why did I say that? It hurt. It hurt. I can tell you people are zoning out or spilling the tea right now, as, as you kids say, right? You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. You decided to go home with Junpei. Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, they usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. The station is bustling with students on their way home. Welcome back. The moon is beautiful tonight. It must be nice to read a book. Oh. <laughs> it must be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? You're right. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. It's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Wait, there's a third floor? Hold up. Is there anything up here? A vacant room. Four floor hallway. How many floors are here? Locked room. There's a notice on the door. Do not open. If open, close it. Okay. You were tired today. You should go to bed early. Wait, I... I wish there was like a way to... No, there's not. Damn it. I thought there was like a way to like skip to my room. Will you go back to your room now? Yeah.
notice the music. <laughs> I was listening to it. At a certain dorm at a certain room in the dormitory. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still... Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I thought there was, I was like on Game Banana. I was like, maybe there are mods to like fix some stuff, like cutscenes or whatever. Because apparently, this game doesn't have any of the animated cutscenes. And I just kind of like find out after Twitter just now. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. <sighs> Akihiko. I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Why is he so happy about that? This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh! What the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I'm going. Since when did Minecraft require a map to move? You know what? You're right. Sol solve for <laughs> what is it? Sent do send cosine and tangent in order to jump. It is your destiny. Your room. You are awoken by a loud noise. You decide to go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? Hurry, downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. Yukari handed you a short sword. Why? Okay, let's go. Why a sword? Dormitory, first floor, at the rear entrance. All right, we should be safe now. Takiba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? What? Second floor. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving. 
Coming, hurry. The dormitory rooftop. Uh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Why does it have so many hands? Why is why is it a why is it a what is it double hand? You climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. All right, first battle. Let's go. Here goes. <laughs> well, I oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> I... It's funny because like I'm also like, I'm just like on Twitter just looking at Persona 3 stuff. <laughs> and apparently <laughs> that cutscene was... On the PSP was good, on PC, no good. Was that? Huh. I'll probably like pull up the actual cutscene just just cuz but whatever this persona is I like oh fuck no come on <laughs> the sudden swell of power has subsided as soon as I'm like uh, I like you Orpheus regained its original form you have attained a new persona Piece of the shadow was heading for you, Kari. No. Get away from me. You have to save her. Oh, it's like a revolver. I like that. Okay, that's cool. Wait, do I have skills? What skills? Bash. Uh. I feel like I'm just playing Persona, Persona 4 now. It's funny. Oh, so he sounds like Yuri Lowenthal. You felt the surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Okay, so Orpheus is a fire Persona. Interesting. The monsters disappeared. It seems Yukari is safe too. You feel exhausted. You are losing consciousness. You died. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Please. Can you hear me? Answer me.
This is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. My psyche? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Ah, so they kept saying this until Persona 5 made it literal. Okay. When you use your Persona ability, you must Understandable. your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your Persona ability. I like how, <laughs> as far as I can say for Persona 3 through 5, I like how they're all like, yeah, if you don't talk to people, you're going to be very weak. But the more people you talk to, the stronger you'll be. Please. Remember that. Now then, it's trying to make me touch grass. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Your head is getting clearer. You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. What did I do? The power you used, we call it persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that... I'm sort of like you. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so... I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. This is a lot of exposition, miss. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Yeah. It's not your fault. Thanks. But still. Mm, just take the hint. It's not your fault. And here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself. I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. Bye. Let the others know you woke up. Bye. Bye, Zs. Bye, 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 bye. One whole day. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. You're full of energy. Dude, I am just fine. 
Forget the old Junpei. This is the real me. You should cheer up too. After all, you've got me for a friend. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I can hear you from all the way over there. Huh? You two came separately today even though you guys were in the same dorm? Uh, we're all tired of hearing you talk about that. Sendokun, are you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but Ikutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. Though, I'm paid to do this, so I've gotta. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm, hey, Junpei. What was the style of houses in the Jomon period called? I don't, oh no, don't ask me. Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick, Sendo, what the heck is he talking about? Jump, so, uh, mud huts? That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Ugh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right, and I don't get any credit? <laughs> oh well. Thanks, Sendo. You hear your classmates whispering. Sendo told Junpei the answer. He's really smart. You became slightly more popular. That was like the best guest. Class is ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decided to go back early. There is no one in the lounge. You were told to go to the fourth floor. Cool. Speaking of quick saving, I'm gonna save right now. Because it's time to end the stream. I wish this game had like a jukebox, a jukebox feature like uh, which one call it? Like, what is it? Persona Four, Golden. But it doesn't. Also, how do I like leave? Like, how do I leave the game? Because <laughs> I don't want to, like, whatchamacallit? Uh, cool. Anyways, uh, we're going to go over here. So just chatting. Yes. Anyways, so... I think, was that the first stream of the week? I don't think it was, unless I'm crazy. I hope it wasn't. I might be crazy. No, 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 okay, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Good. I forgot I played Sonic Origins. But, uh... Yes. I am tired. I will stream tomorrow. It's literally, I'm just, I'm not even like setting up like what games I want to stream. Just throwing things out for now. And then like when there's like a lot of games and I'll decide between those games that I already have played. Just because... I <laughs> I'm just trying something out and seeing if it, seeing if it works. And if it doesn't work, I'll make it work. Yes. But anyways guys, um I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.